Hello everyone. And uh, the Pleiadians are ready to come in with their interpretation and tips for how you can make best use of this wonderful solar eclipse in Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Yes, it's a powerful sign, Aquarius, because you see, Aquarius needs to invent itself. It needs to express itself. It needs to allow space and movement and uh, everything to be free around it, you see. It cannot stand any kind of painful uh, holding in. It cannot hold in. If Aquarius holds in, it's going to get very, very sick. You see, so Aquarius must allow itself to be free, to say what it needs to say, to do what it needs to do, to express itself in any way that it needs to do in any given moment, you see. And this is completely not what your society actually uh, really encourages. Your society encourages you to uh, do what everybody else does, to copy other people, you copy your parents, you copy the people around you. Yes, very unusual when a person is completely free of all of that, you see. And it's going to be important to become free of all of that uh, painful, painful uh, downputting of the, the energy of the person. Because you see, when the energy of the person is put down in the way that, oh, do this, do that, do the other, watch me, watch me, watch me, you end up not finding you. And Aquarius is about finding you. The you that you are excited about, because really the you that is true you is ever changing, is ever new, is never the same. So when you begin to feel same, 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 you can know that you are not in Aquarian mode. You are in boring mode. And Aquarius cannot bear boring. So uh, think to yourself, am I being same? What am I doing? Same old, same old. What am I doing again and again and again and again? Whew. Yeah. Relationships can't change unless you keep them free and unless you change, unless you move, unless you do new things. <laughs> yes, when you begin to do new things and create a new energetic field, then the relationship grows and blossoms into something new. And fresh, it's fresh and new. And that's what this solar eclipse in Aquarius is wanting you to do. To freshen yourself up a little. Uh, yes, get fresh, get fresh, you see. There's a saying, getting fresh with someone means they're doing a little bit naughty things. But you see, that's what it is. Yes, getting fresh, a little bit of excitement, a little bit of ooh, ha, ha. Yes, that's what this is all about. You see, bringing in that woo energy. Yeah, <laughs> you see? And so really think about that. Even as you're sitting here now, are you comfortable or are you in a position that's not very comfortable? So undo your body a little bit. Let it be free, put it into a position where it is more comfortable. If you're in an office and it looks strange, so it looks strange. Don't worry about what other people think. Do you know, to be really honest, they're more interested in themselves. They're hardly interested in you. Really, they're not. They are much more interested in their own little world. Yes, they look at you a little strangely, and that's all right. Just let that be, you see. Let that be. Because until everybody begins to awaken to their own individuality, uniqueness, freedom, uh, effervescence, bubbling, spacey, spacey, yes, spacey. Look at space when you look into the clouds and the sky. It's huge, it's vast. And you're only focused on all the little things in your life. This one and that one and he did that and he did that and she did that and we did that. Yes, it goes on and on and on and round and round and round in the same circle. And then you wonder why you're not creating all the wonderful things that you know you can create in this life. You know that there is something magical about you. You know that you have something that is unique and special. And the way to get to it and to use this solar eclipse is to allow yourself to free up. To become aware of when you're feeling, ah, oh, uh, yes, become aware of it because it's happening many times in a day. And as you become more aware of it, then you'll be in a position to make the change. 
It's a very wonderful eclipse, it really is. And it's a wonderful opportunity to just break free from all the things that have held you back and to really awaken to a different kind of consciousness because this is what is happening on this planet. You are moving to the age of Aquarius, you are moving to something that is different, but each one will have to really awaken to their own individuality. No two people have the same digestive system, no two people have the same eyes, no two people have the same arms, legs, body. You're all different and you're always changing. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that freeing? Just that very thought is very liberating. So really, that's what we're seeing for this solar eclipse. There's always more that we could say, but uh, we feel that's just plenty for right now. <laughs> and we've given you a new uh, image picture behind uh, Barbara this time. You see something new, always something new. You have to keep things fresh and new. That's going to be the key as we move in to this new awakening of better health, better well-being, better relationships, better planet, everything. Yeah. Well, we love you very, very much and we are very grateful that you allow us and you watch us and you tell Barbara that you like this because many of you are going to be awakening now to a different kind of consciousness and we want you to be aware that it might look odd and it might feel strange and you might just need to go with that in order to break free of all the things that have held you back. So, uh, you know, Barbara's really uh, just coming out here and showing you little bits of what's going on, yes? And she will gradually share more and more as you, as you request it. We will come with more and more and more and more. <laughs> and we love you, we love you, we love you. I'm going to bring Barbara back now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <clears throat> oh, well, I never know what's coming. Not only with the Pleiadians now, but in my own life as well. It seems to be spilling over into everything. So thank you very much for watching, for your feedback. For those of you who are interested, I will uh, maybe do some live uh, channeling with questions and answers and things like that. So let me know. Post feedback, please. I read everything. Bye for now.